Real reality television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on cheaters. With serious concerns regarding her boyfriend's private time activities, Brittany Hotchkiss needs to know what secrets he's keeping. Distrusting of his actions when she's not around, Brittany commissions a comprehensive examination of her relationship. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. All of a sudden, it went from us like having this perfect relationship to me not being able to reach him and me not being able to get access into his things the way he would, you know, always give me access. It was, it's just, it's different. It's like a totally different, and you know it, you know. I try to talk to him, and it's like now I can't even get through to him. Like it used to be where I could have conversations with him and we could really work things out, but now it's like I'm speaking, you know, a different language, he's speaking a different language, and there is like no mediation. There's nothing in the middle to help us communicate anymore. It's like a wall there. I feel like most of it is my fault. I feel like I've done something wrong. I feel like, I feel like I can't make him happy anymore and that I did make him happy for a while and that it's something wrong with me. And I, I know that that may not be the case, but that's exactly how I feel. I feel like there's something wrong with me that, you know, this relationship seems so perfect and then all of a sudden he's completely turned off by me or he's completely changing his patterns or his ways. It has to be something that I did. I can't sleep, I can't concentrate. Am I gonna be by myself tonight? Is it, any day, is it gonna end? Is it gonna be over? I don't, I don't know. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Granville, age 35, a financial planner suspected of putting his profit in another woman's dividend. Investigation day three. After two days and no movement on the case, Cheaters detectives remain diligent outside the apartment the client and suspect share. An unknown female is spotted slinking up the stairs to the suspect's front door. The woman knocks and the suspect, identified only as Granville, opens the door and steps out onto the porch. After a brief hug hello, Granville ushers his neighbor down the stairs and into the passenger seat of his car. Mobile units follow the pair across the street to a local bar. They walk arm in arm inside and are soon spotted by undercover agents enjoying some drinks at the bar. The couple appear to be in good spirits while imbibing some spirits of their own. Eventually, the two leave the establishment and return to Granville's residence. They both ascend the stairs and disappear inside the apartment. An hour and a half later, Granville sees his companion to the door. She returns to her own apartment and Granville shuts the door, ending this day of investigation. Investigation day five. With Brittany again working the late shift at her restaurant job, agents are on high alert for further developments. They spot the suspect, shirtless, coming out onto the balcony with a phone. It's evident that his phone call was to beckon his downstairs neighbor upstairs. The neighbor, now identified only as Andy, appears dressed as if she just got out of the shower. Andy makes her way up to Granville and indicates to him that she wants something more than just a cup of sugar. Granville apparently likes what he sees and begins to grope Andy on the balcony. The two spend some time exhibiting their lust before retiring inside the apartment that Granville and Brittany share. A few hours tick by before agents regain sight of the couple. Andy exits the apartment but is not allowed to leave just yet. Granville grabs his busty beauty and delivers a few final kisses for the night. Investigation Day 8. It seems to detectives on duty that a pattern of deceit is forming. With Brittany working the late shift, they see Andy and Granville leaving their apartments almost in unison. The suspect scurries down the stairs to greet his buxom buddy by his car. 
Mobile units then track the couple to another nearby bar. They enter and are soon seen on the patio enjoying some beverages. It may be date night for Granville, but it's Brittany who's picking up the tab, as revealed in this recorded phone call. With a final nail in the proverbial coffin, PIs return to headquarters and begin compiling the bad news for Brittany. Coming up, the confrontation. With proof of Granville's flagrant philandering, Brittany's brought in to inspect the findings. Unaware as to the depth of his degeneracy, she tries to find peace before the truth sets her free. On this particular evening, while you're at work, a neighbor exits, goes upstairs, knocks on the door, there's a brief hug. A short time later, they exit the building he lets her into the passenger side of his vehicle. He gets in his side. And after he gets in, they travel to a bar. That's across the street from my house. He gets the door. They go inside, grab a seat. They have some drinks, go back to the apartments. She goes inside. She's in there for a short period of time. She shouldn't be in my house. She shouldn't be in my house. She exits goes down to her place, Granville goes inside. On this occasion, a little different scenario plays out. Granville's outside on the phone. The neighbor comes upstairs, sporting a robe, which she promptly opens up, exposes herself to Granville, evidently pleased. They go inside your apartment, and the light turns off. Quite some time later, the door opens up. You see a brief romantic exchange, and she goes downstairs to her apartment. We've had a detective stationed outside of your place again tonight, and we know that they're together. No, right now. Right now. I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and get in the van. We'll call the detective from there and see if he can give us an update on their whereabouts. Okay? You ready? Come with me. Gomez, what do you have on your end? So they went to the same bar? Into the same bar that they've been going to. Okay, they're in now. Got it. No. Okay. I, no, 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 no. Well, we know where that is, and we're headed there right now. Meet you around back. All right. Go around back when we get there. Okay, on our way. Much time. Follow me, buddy. Go. What's, touch what, me. What's wrong? Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. No. Bull. 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 Easy. Watch out. Whoa. Touch me. Touch me. What are you talking about? You are a liar. What? 
What am I lying about? Let's start moving it outside. What, this, you, you know who the... Save him, take ba him. Baby, Ooh. come here. Baby, 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 baby. You already know, G. Don't baby. play it. Don't play it like baby. that. Don't play it like baby. that. Baby. You already know. Baby. You already know. Baby. You already know. What, what, what are you talking we about? We already know. First we've of all, had, we've had to you shut the phone. hell up. Ain't nobody I, you. I, because here. you know better. You, you know better. You know better. Hello, ladies, 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 ladies. Shut your ass. You know better. You know better. Baby, what are you? You know better. You know better. Come on, get, you get her off here. Settle down. You should have been taking care of your business. Hey, why, why you come over and let out the night. Coming up next, the conclusion. And we know that they're together. Oh, oh hell no! What the? Get, get her off him. Why, why are you tripping? You already know. We don't do it like that. I know where the you live. I know. Protect him. Get, get her off him. Baby, baby, baby. Ah. Baby, come on, come on. What I taste like, ho? What I taste like? Don't touch my mother shoe. Don't touch that belong to me. None of y'all. The car is in the front. You the car, the car is in the front. Let's go, let's go to the car in front. I'm not going to do this. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What? Whoa, 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 what? Whoa, wait, wait, y'all cupcake it? I ain't did nothing. Y'all cupcake it? Cup they just show me the damn video, you I ain't idiot. seen no video. Show me a video. Here. Somebody get this. I ain't seen no video. A video. I got it right here. You okay, you, what you gonna show me on video? Okay. Somebody Outside on your phone. Video. Who's coming upstairs? Your neighbor. Remember that night? Okay, we neighbors. She can't come to my house. Oh, oh she can't come to my house. Oh, oh yeah, you just show it. In a bad world, you got your damn shirt off. Tell oh, here, wait, no, he, no, the, the problem is he doesn't remember. He don't already know, because he forgot. I don't drink that here, much. I how about this? Know. Okay, how about Mother, Obviously, you oh, do yeah. got to drink a lot. Oh. Orangutan, you up okay. in here with this bitch. Do you remember bitch. that? His remember that? Okay, well, now look, fake -ass, precious you can do whatever you bitch, want, but if you're not you happy live, with her, so why are you still keeping her in a relationship? She already knows. That's my girl. That's your girl? Then why are you standing next to her? If I'm your girl, you with me. Because you're tripping, you got all these people. This... This is where I come to hang out at, and you got all these people looking at me crazy. This is where we hang out at. We hear every day you we hang out. You say, already say, know. Oh, no, don't you run, mother. Be... Don't run. You ain't don't even got run. your work clothes on. Don't I just... run. Don't run. Okay, come on, let's go. You ain't gonna keep it. No, embarrassing we ain't even talking about. Come no. on, let's go. Get... No. What? No. We ain't gonna talk about. Badass no, security. I'm gonna be in jail after tonight. No, look, here. No, we ain't finna talk about. Here, get my keys. Get my keys. Make sure somebody the got the mother bail money. I'm gonna whoop this ass. Stop. Stop. Say something else. Stop. Stop. Dumb. Where y'all? Bitch. Then where y'all got security lights, bitch? Say something else. G, let's go. Come on, G. Here, take the keys. Go get in the car. Andy, your business. Go, 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 go to the car. Come on. In uh, the front. Here, no, give her let that fat bitch walk. Give her, give we her live across range. the street. It broke now. No. I guess you bought them earrings too, huh? We live across the street. Wait, let that Why fat bitch walk. Why y'all let her walk up on me? Why? Why, Why are you walking away? You scared? Because you scared, bitch? You scared? You scared? You scared? You scared? You scared? Oh. No. It's just the beginning. Please don't touch me. Settle down. No. Get in the car, please. She already knew. Please don't worry. Get in the car. Come she on. already knew. Come on, come on. I ain't got the room in that hole. Say something else. Say something else. Oh, say something. But guess what? Who getting in the car? Oh, who getting in the car? Get that ragged ass. Who getting in the car? That mother yeah. ragged ass Christ. Who putting gas in it? You. Oh, uh, bitch, I ain't putting no mother gas in this ragged ass. What? Still what got like this. Hey, Still got case. You set this in motion. Or what? All right. Or what? All right, y'all want to play games? Y'all want to play games? Get the away from my car. Oh, what you going to do? Oh, you going to get in the come over. You going to get in with my car. You gonna get fed? Or what? Or what? Or what you gonna do? No. No. Cause I've been nice. You want me to act ignorant? Oh, oh, you want oh, me to be stupid like this belligerent ass, ignorant ass okay. fool? Oh, I'm not I'm ignorant not got good. Ignorant. Yo, you fat. You I all girls got good. Ignorant. Stupid ass bitch. You I got your man. I know you ain't talking. Look at that damn skeleton man 
over here. Oh, ugly ass, crackhead, survival looking ass mother. Yeah, you know how fat ass need air conditioning. Let's go. Get out, get out of my car. Get out. Oh, no. Let her go, man, let her go. No. I don't get out of my car. Get out of here. I pay his shit on his damn car. This is my damn car, too. This is my mother car, too. I don't have to get out. I don't have to get out of no mother car that got my name on it, too. Well, y'all better move the out of my way. Get back in this car. You gonna run like a little bitch? You gonna be scared? You scared? No, that's all right. Let him run away. No, that's all right, because I got my house key right here. It's about to go. Following the confrontation, Brittany attempts to rise above her fury to find a silver lining. At the end of the show, we'll inform you as to her success. But now, Desiree Furlong, the companion from the Melissa Fletcher case, reveals her thoughts on being exposed while on a bender by cheaters. We're just getting our drink on, and then shortly after that, you know, got a little flirtatious, because, you know, we're drunk, we're looking to have a good time. So then we pulled over into, like, a dark, you know, spot just to, you know, have sex. And then all of a sudden, camera lights came on, and then he got pulled out of the car, and then I just really don't really remember what happened. Like I said, I was drunk. <laughs> ass out the car! What the f are you doing? What, the f what is your problem? Hey, what okay, all right. What are you right. doing? Well, what's your deal, dude? What is this? What is this? She's just a friend. Oh, man. she's just a friend? What's going what on? What do you mean, man? what's going on? What's you going get on? the f out of the way. So a little bit after the show, yeah, we saw each other on and off for about two weeks after that, uh, you know, but the fact that, you know, he cheated on his girl, that, that always plays in the back of mind. And I'm not really looking for anything serious. I'm just going to keep shocking. He's not the one, like I said, you know, it took me two weeks to find out, you know, I was just having fun then. It's nothing now. And uh, it's just nothing, you know, nothing serious anymore. So how much have you had? To Absolutely enough. He did not drink enough of what I drank. Can you say that again? I'm sorry. Uh, great. He had not drank enough what I had drank. Is that good enough for you? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for love one day, but obviously, you know, I'm just going to have fun. I'm not going to jump anything I know I'm not going to be serious about, but I'm not going to just be like some old nanny, you know, sitting in bed with myself, you know. So I'm just going to go out and have my fun, and if love comes along, it does. If not, then I'm just going to keep doing my thing. Now that she's had time to collect herself, Brittany Hotchkiss has concluded that it's time to move on and away from Granville's lies. Regarding her former friend and neighbor, she says, let her have him. Cook him up and eat him for all I care. She needs less fat in her diet anyway. Brittany is currently living with her cousin until she finds a permanent residence. Granville continued to profess his innocence, claiming that all the footage obtained by detectives did not tell the whole story. He states, you need to get your facts straight before you go on ruining people's lives. Andy didn't return. Hey, please. Faster! Yeah, baby. I'm I'm on with ladies, you. ladies. Get out of my face! Oh my God! You are a cheater. Now you're a comedian. That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real Reality Television has brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. After a whirlwind romance that celebrated a marriage and child, Thelma Gosling now finds time to catch her breath. Unexplained disappearances and a cold bed, however, lead her to believe that her marriage may be built on treacherous ground. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. The day that I found out I was pregnant, he was in shock when I told him, but he said he was gonna do the right thing. He was gonna marry me, and we would be a happy family. 
He started acting different probably about a month after we were married. He just, he wouldn't, he wouldn't call like he said he would. He used to, he would, he would tell me every detail. Everything to, I'm going to the store, it'll take me 30 minutes, I'll be back, to now it's, he'll just leave the house and I won't know where he's going or what he's doing. The other day, I, I went to his truck and I was getting the diaper bag out of his truck and there was a Budweiser can in there and he doesn't drink Budweiser. I, he drinks Bud Light in the bottle. I mean, that's his drink. And so it, it, it made me suspicious wondering why is that kind of beer in there? Who's been with him? I feel he needs to be a good role model for our son. We've only been married three months. In that three months, I need to know this is for real. I need him to be there for us instead of me having to worry at night that where he's at or what he's doing. If he gets hurt, you know, is, is our son not going to have a father? If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Brendan Gosling, age 36. A salesman suspected of freely feeding his desire for other women. Investigation day two. Using information provided by Thelma, Cheaters Field agents catch the suspect leaving work a little early. The suspect finally arrives at a medical center and exits his pickup truck. The suspect, Brandon Gosling, strides to the entryway, but pauses before entering. Agents spot an unknown vehicle and Gosling moves toward the SUV. He opens the driver's door and escorts an unknown female from the cab. The two share a kiss while walking arm in arm into the facility. An additional mobile unit picks up the pair exiting a short time later. While agents ponder the nature of the visit, Gosling sends his companion off with a kiss. He then returns home for the remainder of the evening. Investigation day five. Perimeter units inform their mobile counterparts of Gosling's departure from the family home. Mobile 2 reacquires Gosling, arriving at a large, unknown ranch. He parks and promptly disappears from agent's view. Investigators dispatch a ground agent in the hopes of resuming visual contact. Gosling is soon identified in the horse corral, grooming one of the mares. Before long, a familiar face is detected walking toward Gosling. The woman from previous surveillance, now identified as Cassie Potts, offers her hardworking stud a beer. Gosling eagerly accepts the cold brew and takes a long, slow swig. If any doubt still lingers as to the nature of Gosling's relationship with Potts, those doubts are put to rest as the couple share a long and loving kiss across the stable gate. Potts playfully advises her rough rider to get back to work, handing him the grooming brush before trotting off and into the house. Agents lose sight of the suspect once he follows suit. Sometime later, mobile units watch as the suspect's vehicle pulls out of the gravel driveway and heads home for what's left of the evening. Investigation Day 7. Under the cover of darkness, mobile units follow suspect Gosling as he drives down familiar roads, but not the ones that lead to home. He arrives at the ranch house from previous surveillance and is greeted by a smiling Potts. They walk arm in arm back to the truck and speed off. Agents keep up with the couple, finally pulling up to a honky tonk. They enter the establishment and settle by the pool tables near the back. While the cowboy bootleggers play their game, it's Thelma who's behind the eight ball as evidenced by this recorded phone call. Hey, hon. Hey, baby, how are you? I'm good. Where are you at? Oh, I'm hanging out with a friend. Oh. Well, I'm going to hang out with them for a while. How long? Uh, for a while. It's an old friend. It's, you don't know. Well, okay. Well, when, when are you going to be home? Uh, later. But I'll, I'll call you before. Okay. Love you. Love you too. 
Once back at the ranch, Gosling and Potts enjoy a nightcap on the back porch. With more than enough evidence, agents pull back and return to headquarters to begin compiling Thelma's dossier. Coming up, the confrontation. With substantial evidence of an ongoing affair, Thelma is brought proof of her concerns. Distraught by the unknown, she prepares to observe her husband's dark secret. Thelma, our detectives do have information that may shed light onto the things that you've been seeing and experiencing around your home and in your relationship with your husband. Are you prepared to look at that now? Yes. On this day of our investigation, we followed Brandon as he left work. Now, he was followed until he pulled into the parking lot of a physician. Now, he waits there for a short period of time until a car pulls up alongside. A young lady gets out, and they greet each other with a hug. Now they go inside the physician's office, and after some time, they exit, and they go their separate ways. On this evening, we follow Brandon as he leaves work. Our detectives followed him as he went back to the ranch house where we have seen him previously. Goes up to the front door, knocks the same young lady that we've seen him with previously, opens the door, lets him in. They're there for a short period of time before exiting, and they're followed to a local bar. They're engaged in a game of billiards, and after pocketing some of his balls, he is rewarded with a passionate show of affection. Later that evening, they drive back to the ranch, but once they arrived back at the ranch, there is continued amorous activity on the porch, and that's where Brandon stayed for the remainder of the evening. I know you're an intelligent woman. You know where we are right now. Where did Brandon tell you he was going to be tonight? At the rodeo. On his way to the rodeo, he picked up the same young lady that we've seen him with before. So he's here now? He's here now, and he's with this young lady. Are you sure this is something you want to continue with? Yes. All right, come on with me. Okay, where are we headed? Oh, you know me, have to take it inside, ready to let Watch the step. All right, come on, let's go. They're over there by the blue machine, go around the front. Come on. Yeah. Well, Brandon, were you going to say anything to her? Eventually. Where, where would it, ha where would it have here. to happen? Not here. It wasn't going to happen here, but not, not like this. Well, how? I mean, it's not like you didn't have it'd enough been a, time. It would have been something totally different than this right now. You have a child. Yeah, I do. Right? There's I do. nine months there. Yeah. How long is this relationship going on? A couple months. A couple months. Okay. How much longer do you think it would have taken for you to tell your wife? I don't know. That you had a, had a girlfriend? Your son. Look can't, at him. can't do this here. What in the world? You got a family? What is this for? No, I gotta go. Y'all can't what do this here. World? Where are you going? Where are you going? Coming up, the conclusion. On his way to the rodeo, he picked up the same young lady. Oh my God. Who are you? Oh. I'm his girlfriend. Where are you going? Brandon. Talk to me. I will, but we ain't gonna do it in there. That's that's ridiculous to bring all this out here. You should have brought it to me. You shouldn't have brought it outside our family. Talk to me. You had to bring it to the rodeo. You shouldn't have been here. 
You should have been at home caring for your son and your wife. We just go where the story takes us. And tonight, this is where it was. Who is she? Who is she? A friend. And I didn't mean for any of that to happen. It yes. just did. And I'm sorry. But I don't know what else to say. Uh, what led you into the arms of another woman? We just uh, we always have arguments and everything going on every now and then. And it just comes down to this. Why are and you going to do camera. this? I don't understand. I'm his wife. I never knew he was married. He has a child, a two-month-old child. Sorry. How did the two of you meet? Um, at a bar. Man, get that thing out of here. Go. Get it. Y'all don't need it. Y'all don't need to be here. I didn't even know he was married. He doesn't wear a ring. We go out every other night, so I mean. Where's your ring? Where's your ring? Where's the ring? It's at the house. You stood in front of God and everybody and said those vows. Yes, I did. They were forever, supposed to be forever. They were, but. Obviously not, if you're sleeping with somebody else. I think it's so wise. Me that you know so you like what the person that you're involved with, right. you know what they're capable of. Of course, I'm, I'm glad I know that. <laughs> you should be at home taking care of your son. Wow. Do you not love me? After all we've been through, you don't love me and you're willing to go off and somebody else. I did it one time, yes. I don't think so. One time. That is so obviously a lie. You've been with me forever, like six months. We go out every night. Every phone call, every I mean, night? really? So you're working and you're with her? He's been with me every night for the last six months, or at least every other night. There's been times that I have worked, and there's, but yeah, there's really been times worked. I've been with her, too. You're not the same person. Who are you? You know, I don't need any of this, really. I don't. No, but but no. you brought you made this I happen. I you brought this upon yourself. So for you to run out now and I'll take care of is kind of cowardly. Go. That's fine. I'll take care of it as I go. You figuring out as you go along is, isn't really going to help them any, and that's a big responsibility. It is, but I'll take care of it as I go. Unfortunately, the, the reason that we're here is because these. your wife loves you. Look at these. Take them and look at them. I know. I've seen these. You've pictures. destroyed his life now. No, I haven't. You're not going to be a part of his life at all. No, because you can't take that away from me. I will. It doesn't matter how much I messed up, you still can't take that away from me. I will. And I won't let you, so. I will. No, come on, come on. Brandon? Brandon. Y'all need to get it. Y'all need to go. Brandon. That's enough. That's enough. I've had enough of this stuff. You brought this, you brought this here where I did You brought it. Nope. You brought it here. We're not doing this. I'm not doing this. You tonight. brought her I'm here. Not, I'm not going to do this here. I'm not going to do it. Whatever. Whatever, I love it, whatever. You can bang me for six months and say whatever. That is sad. And you walk out on your family? Well, I need that hat back, I bought it. Really? Yeah. Really? That's what I think about you. Really, Brandon? You're not gonna talk to me at all? Ma'am, if you need a ride home, we'll, we'll make sure that you get there Thank safely. You. You're not man enough to talk to me? Or you don't have the balls to? You're scared now. Man, y'all can get that thing and just go, go to hell with it. Really. I don't need y'all. All right, you come with me. Right. I'm out of here. Cowboy up, Brandon. Come on, man. After the confrontation, Thelma is devastated by her husband's disastrous deeds. At the end of the show, we'll update you on her progress. But now, Paul, the suspect from the Nisha Lincoln case, comes into unmask the true culprit of his troubles when caught with another woman 
on Cheaters. A couple of friends of mine, they all work together. We usually all go out for drinks. Uh, they just didn't happen to be there that time. You know, nothing was going on. It wasn't like I was cheating. Uh, the Cheaters comes in with the cameras and all this, and it looked like, you know, with my girl, making it look like I've been doing something. Whatever, I might have been hugging on her a little bit. I was just going, you know, it was just drinks with a friend. <laughs> You and your bitch here? Is this what? Yes, I did. This is this your bitch? No, nah, no. Nah. This supposed to have some drinks. You know what I'm saying? No, you, I said you've been cheating on me. Yeah, you've been cheating. Yeah, you've been cheating. What you running for? What you running for? In your Chicago Bears jacket that everybody sees you in. The other chick is a, a dumb bitch. You know what I'm saying? She saw the cameras and started making up a bunch. Uh, it's, it's all, you know, and cheaters, like I said, it's all camera tricks. I don't know what they showed her, but like I said, they pretty much drove her insane. Now I'm having problems with my girl because of whatever that you guys showed on camera that wasn't true. And I know regardless of what I say, they're going to try to make it look like I was doing something. Uh, I know I wasn't doing nothing. So, ma'am, ma how long have you been? How long Listen, have you been with him? We've been together for a while now, okay? Uh, I don't know what this is. I don't want to have any part of it. They're trying no, to make me look no, bad. Now, why do you want to do it? I'm just not having drinks. This is no, all fake. This no, is all fake. No, this is all okay. fake. This is not fake. Get me the camera. I don't want to no. be on you, you I want, want to be on show, camera. You want me to show no. you this girl? Come on. What now. you running for? Where are you running? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Me and Nisha, we're going to work things out. Uh, and if we don't, then somebody else will come along. But I, I guarantee I won't be going through, you know, not, I don't want to see you guys again. This is, you know, this is this is just a bunch of you guys are all getting paid for whatever you're doing. And I'm getting. Fighting through constant heartache, Thelma Gosling focuses her energy on her son and herself. Now that she knows the truth about her husband's treachery, Thelma has had a hard time getting the images out of her head. Thelma admits that she's at a crossroads and is waiting for guidance on where to turn. Admitting to the affair, Brandon Gosling claims to want his family back, but he admits it may not be all that simple. When questioned about Ms. Potts, Gosling claims to have had feelings for her. When contacted by a cheater's producers, Cassie Potts was adamant that she knew nothing about Thelma. When pressed on about the depth of their relationship, Potts revealed that she recently believed that she had gotten pregnant by Gosling. But hey, please. Foster! Yeah, baby, I'm gonna hang up you. Ladies. Get out of my face! Oh my god! You are a cheater! Now you're a comedian! That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real reality television as brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's private eyes on Cheaters. Uneasy about her husband's activities while supplementing his income, Lily Santiago seeks a truth she claims is veiled from her. Unable to trust those closest, Lily opens her relationship for an unbiased examination. I'm Joey Greco. And this is Cheaters. Jesse was always uh, telling me, I love you, hon, I'll be back. He was always communicating with me, letting me know every move that he was doing. He would call me to check up on me and the girls. And it's like, lately, he just, he leaves. He, he won't even tell me where. Uh, when I do ask him, where have you been, it's like... Uh, what's it to you he'll give me like a nasty attitude and I've noticed that uh when I ask him let's go hang out like Thursdays Thursdays was always our day we'd either go to a movie or dinner it was just him and I and and he just stopped stopped doing that with me he always comes up with oh I got plans I got something going I'm gonna make extra hours there was occasions where Jesse did ask me uh, to go with him to the gigs, you know, and he would kind of show me off to his friends and say, this is my girl. Then it eventually just got to a point when I would ask him, can I go? He'd be like, well, you know, today's going to be a busy night. I won't have any attention. Uh, again, it's like if I felt that I was bothering him for even asking him, can I go with you? 
if Jesse is cheating on me, I, I want him to realize that it's going to hurt more the family, that he needs to see that we love him, that we care for him. The girls always want him around. They're, they're daddy's little girls, and he needs to start realizing what he has at home. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Jesse Santiago, age 37. A DJ accused of enjoying a mashup between himself and another woman. Investigation Day 1. Agents set up a perimeter around the suspect's day job, which is managing a printing lab. Upon closing up shop for the day, agents catch sight of the suspect, Jesse Santiago, exiting the building and entering his convertible sports car. He is followed down the highway for quite some time before finally coming to rest at a local Mexican cantina. He departs from his vehicle and is instantly engulfed in the arms of an unknown female. The two seem quite happy to see each other. They hug and kiss before walking arm in arm into the restaurant. The couple grab a table, sitting side by side. As the hot sauce flows, so does the affection between Santiago and his mystery woman. The couple clink bottles and enjoy their meal. Over an hour passes before the couple exit the restaurant. They hold each other close as they walk through the parking lot. Santiago sees his consort safely into her car and then follows her to her residence. They ascend the stairs to the companion's apartment and disappear inside for quite some time. Eventually, agents regain a line of sight on the suspect as he gets into his car and returns home to his uneasy wife. Investigation Day 4. After quite a few days with little movement on the case, agents catch a break. They receive a call from Lily stating her husband's claims of needing to work late. Agents spot Santiago leaving the lab and darting off in his automobile. He rushes to the other side of town and enters a well-respected record shop. Inside, waiting for his arrival, is his companion from previous surveillance, Mary Castillo. Ground agents capture Santiago and his mistress's enthusiasm for each other as they inspect the shop's rare collections. When Castillo moves over to browse the import section, Santiago starts to browse her behind. The two finally exit the establishment and share a kiss while walking through the darkened parking lot. Ever the gentleman, Santiago sees his carita into her car. Mobile units continue tracking their suspect as he again meets Castillo outside a nearby restaurant. It is quite evident from the couple's behavior that they are well versed in one another's intimate areas. After dinner, the two return to Castillo's home. Santiago spends much of the night inside before finally pulling himself away and returning home only hours before dawn. Investigation Day 5. For a second day in a row, the suspect recycles his excuse of having to work late. Unbeknownst to him, however, Lily has professional eyes glued to his every move. Mobile units follow Santiago to Castillo's apartment complex. It appears to be a real date this time as Santiago ushers his lady love from her apartment and into his car. With the top down, a canopy of stars twinkle brightly, helping the suspect add to the romance in the air. They soon arrive at a quite pricey tapas bar. They enter and begin to enjoy each other's lips as appetizers. However, it's Lily who's hungry for answers, evident in this recorded phone call with her husband. Hello? Hey, man. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. What's going on? How are you? I'm uh, working. Oh, I know that, but like, what time are you coming home? You're coming uh, forever. Uh, what'd you say? I can't hear you. What? You're serious? Uh, so what time are you coming home, Brad? Why do you do this every time I have a job? Jesse, I'm just asking. I mean, honey, come on. You're calling me at home. You know, I sometimes miss you at work. Right. I'm not doing this. I'll talk to you later, okay? Jesse, don't you hang up. Oh, 
With all the evidence they need, Cheater's agents close the case and begin assembling the disturbing details for Lily's inspection. Coming up, the confrontation. With a mountain of evidence piling up, Lily's contacted to inspect the findings. As anxiety courses through her, she pulls herself together long enough to discover the truth. Now I know that there have been some things that have gone on in your relationship with Jesse that have caused you some suspicion and concern. I think our detectives have information that may put your mind at ease. Are you ready to take a look at that now? On this particular day, Jesse left work, gets into his car, and our detectives followed him until he arrived at a restaurant. A short time later, the car pulls up alongside, greets a young lady, and they go into the restaurant. I know who she is. You know this woman? I've seen her at the club with Jesse by the booth. I, I don't know her, but I know I've seen her. Now, is this the one that you've already expressed? Yes. That there was some peculiar dynamic that was yes. taking place whenever you were yes. there together with, yes. with Jesse? Okay. They go into the restaurant. We can see the two of them engaged in conversation. They walk out to the vehicles together. He puts her in her vehicle. He bends in, and it looks like he gives her a quick kiss. But from there, they follow one another to what we believe to be her residence. He's inside for some time, and when he exits, we notice that he's adjusting his shirt, and from there, he goes home. On this evening, Lily, Jesse leaves work and goes directly to this young lady's apartment. He goes inside, collects her. They come out, travel to a restaurant. As they're walking in, we observe the holding of hands. And now we can see clearly that this is a romantic evening. Mm -hmm. After dinner, they go outside, share a few more tender moments before going back to the residence of this woman. And again, later that night, Jesse exits the building and leaves. Lily, I know that while you suspected something was going on, it's never any easier when you confirm it. If you still have the desire, we can provide you with an opportunity to confront Jesse. Yes, please. I have to have, oh, yes, yes, Joey. I would want to see where that son of a bitch is. Where is that, oh, where is he? Where is he right now? He went to work, and as soon as he got there, the same young lady that you suspected and that we've seen him with arrived. And we know that's where they are now. I, I want to go. I want to see where he's at. I want to see where he's at. OK, come with me. We'll go in the van. We'll call the detector from there, OK? OK. Yeah, we're uh, wrapped up, and we're in the vans moving in your direction. All right, sounds good. Okay, hey, let everybody know she, he's wearing black, she's wearing a flowered dress. Okay, still, so, you see us? Yep. All right, yeah, I see you now, gotcha. All right. Okay, they're on the back patio. Serious? All right, here we go. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. What the fuck? 
Coming up next, the conclusion. Oh, where is he? Where is he right now? He went to work, and as soon as he got there, the same young lady arrived. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? No, bitch, that's my man. That's my man. That's my man, ho. You're the man. He's the man. Why are you doing this? 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 Calm down. Calm down, bro. Calm down, bro. Following the confrontation, Lily is left battered and bruised both physically and emotionally. Stay tuned when we reveal how she's recovering. But now, Cheaters welcomes Q, the entertainer from the Faye Weathers case. Q hopes to present her version of events when confronted on Cheaters. You come into a business like this, I expect the worst at all times. It just kind of caught me off guard with you know, how we had been carrying on for that amount of time and nothing had even gave me a reason to think that there was another woman involved. So, I mean, it was a shock to me and, you know, in the type of business and field that I'm in, it kind of just kind of made me feel a little uncomfortable, you know, being that me and him had were getting to that level of just, you know, casually 
you know, getting to know each other a lot better and outside of what I do for my business. No, what the hear my asshole? Who are you? No, no. Who are you? No, no, who the I'm you? No, no, who the you? No, 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 who the you? No, who the you? Who are you? No, I wanna who the you are. Yeah, my, I no, I need you, no, I need you, no, I need you, no, no, my house. She was really outraged and just, you know, really dramatic. So I'm pretty sure, you know, they probably had an altercation. But from that point, I just tried to get myself out of the situation and, you know, try to at least be calm and explain to her, you know, look, this is what I do. This is my business. Theron's a cool guy, but I, I don't even know you. I never even heard about you. Don't put your hands on me. You need to get your man together, sweetie. This is what I do for a living. Oh, you want to play with me? 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 You want to cheat on me? Mitch, get the get, get, get out of my house. Don't right throw my, my blade on. Don't get you ready. Yes, I, no. I know if one you're thing. Job, no, you want to go my house? Sweetie. No, bitch, you want to be able to play with me? You want to play with me? You want to play with me? Once again, if he contacts me, wants to see me again, it's definitely, you know, a possibility. It definitely can happen still. I don't have any hard feelings toward Thurm. I just, I think that, you know, he really wants to be done with her, and she's just a psychotic, dramatic woman who is afraid to let him go. Following the hard-fought confrontation, Lily Santiago spent most of her night boxing up her husband's belongings and placing them by the curb. Lily is currently seeking a divorce, including full custody of their two daughters. According to Jesse Santiago, his marriage to Lily was over a long time ago, and her desperate attempt at sabotage will backfire. He goes on to say that despite the chaos of the confrontation, he and his companion are better than ever. Mary Ca Hey, please. Get out of my face! Oh my God! You are a cheater. Now you're a comedian. That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. Real reality television is brought to you by Cheaters Detective Agency's Private Eyes on Cheaters. Never one to let emotions rule his life, Jay Ridgway is now at a crossroads regarding his wife's mysterious behavior. With concerns, she may be emulating the single life of her recently divorced friend. Jay must rely on the compassion of strangers for some peace of mind. I'm Joey Greco, and this is Cheaters. The first time I saw Melissa, I saw this beautiful woman with these gorgeous fiery eyes um, staring me down with big sparkles in them. And, and I had never had a girl look at me like that before. And it kind of, you know, it shocked me. I was, you know, I was in awe and, uh, and I just wanted to know more about her. I started to notice things once Melissa's best friend Courtney divorced my best friend, Ken. Um, you know, we, we always used to go out and see comedians together, restaurants together, tastings, um, all kinds of things. And it just, you know, it, it kind of created a big shift with us because, um, you know, because, you know, when women typically get divorced, they go out and pick up a lot of guys. So so she comes home at odd, odd times of the night. I don't get the full details. You know, we don't make love anymore. One night she was going out and and I I swear she had I'd seen her put on a thong and and she came home later and she had no panties on at all when she when she got back. I saw her in the bathroom and and it just totally it you know, it's what totally brought my suspicions up for this. You know, we we were soulmates and and now I have no idea who she is. And, I don't, I don't want to just throw all of this hard work away. If you suspect infidelity in your relationship, Cheaters Detective Agency may be able to provide you assistance. Exercise your right to be informed. Investigative charges may apply. Melissa Ridgway, age 39. A media specialist suspected of spinning her marriage as a gloomy union for interested onlookers. Investigation Day 3. 
With a perimeter set around the suspect's workplace, agents are on active duty waiting for movement from the target. A little after quitting time, detectives spy the suspect, Melissa Ridgway, traipsing down the steps from a secondary exit. She enters her modest automobile and departs the parking lot. The primary tracking team mobilizes and follows Mrs. Ridgway to a local bar for an apparent happy hour hangout session. She literally lets her hair down as she enters the establishment. As confirmed by Jay, Melissa is meeting with her recently divorced friend, Courtney. The two chit-chat for quite some time while enjoying a number of drink specials. 45 minutes pass before Mrs. Ridgway receives a phone call. After a brief conversation with an unknown party, she leaves Courtney's company. Mobile units track Melissa to a nearby parking lot. She stops just long enough for an unknown male to exit his car and enter hers. They're followed to a park. Upon finding a quiet place to stop, Courtney and her mystery caller eagerly move from the front seats to the back. The darkness obfuscates visibility as detectives patiently wait. 20 minutes go by before agents see Melissa's companion emerge, sweaty and shirtless. Mrs. Ridgway takes her companion to his car before heading home for the remainder of the evening. Investigation Day 6. As agents watch the suspect exit her place of employment, they notice a familiar figure approaching. Melissa's companion, now identified as Juan Amador, approaches the suspect with a bouquet of flowers. She eagerly accepts the floral array while guiding her Latin lover into the passenger seat of her car. The two drive downtown and arrive at a nightclub. They enter and settle at the bar. Melissa's inhibitions are clearly lost as she grabs, grinds, and gushes all over her gigolo. With the night open to all possibilities, Melissa makes sure of her freedom with this recorded phone call with Jay. Hello? Hi, baby. How are you? Good. How are you? Oh, I'm good. Just one flying crazy over here. Hey, we saw a, uh, a video conferencing video of a client I received tonight, and I have to stay behind, okay? So I'm not going to be home until after midnight. Okay. If you try to call me, call me on my cell because the phone's at work, so they're messed up. All right, well, then I'll see you. Hopefully not too late, but definitely after midnight sometime, okay? Okay. All right, I love you. The passionate playmates finally exit the hotel in the wee hours of the morning. Melissa drops Amador off at his car before heading home, barely beating the sunrise. Investigation Day 9. Agents are on alert upon learning of Melissa's plan to meet Courtney for a night on the town. Detectives watch Jay's wife leave her home and make her way to a dance club. Once inside, it's apparent to ground units that Courtney was the red herring, as Melissa is caught freaking on a fedora wearing Amador. It's apparent to investigators, as well as everyone else in the club, that dancing is not the couple's forte. Amador, however, redeems himself as he spins records behind the DJ booth. Melissa can't resist her man's masculine momentum. They bob to the beat of the music. She makes sure that all the single ladies know that the music man is hers. During a break from the action inside, perimeter units are notified of the couple's exit. They watch closely as Amador leads Melissa to his car in the back of the parking lot. Believing that they're alone, agents watch as improper activity ensues. With all the evidence they need, detectives now close the case and return to headquarters to assemble the facts. Coming up, the confrontation. With the suspect's single life exposed, Cheaters approaches Jay to disclose the distressing deeds. Although his emotions run rampant, Jay finds the strength to hear the truth. All right, Jay, we began our investigation outside of the office park where Melissa works. And this afternoon, she exits the building, gets into her car, travels to a parking lot. She meets a gentleman there. He gets into her car, and they drive to an isolated area 
where they both get into the rear seat of the vehicle. After some passage of time, the door opens, a shirtless gentleman exits. They drive back to the parking lot where they initially met, and then they go their separate ways. Jay, on this evening, we were outside of your home. Melissa leaves, gets into her car. We followed her to a club. That is her dancing with the gentleman wearing the hat. Now, not long after that, we see that this gentleman, as he assumes his position, dropping beats. Melissa shows her approval over the sounds he's laying down. They exit the club. They head out towards the parking lot. Before they separate, there's an intimate exchange, and she appears to give him pleasure before getting in the car and going their separate ways. The same gentleman met Melissa at the close of business today, but we'll just start moving in the direction where they are, okay? Okay, let's right. do it. Come on with me. All right, easy, 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 easy. Jay. Everybody out. Everybody out, everybody out, everybody Jay, out. Ah! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Who the hell is that Stop! guy? What's wrong with you, man? Stop. Why are you doing the oh, Man, the Man, what the f are you, man? Jay, stop! What the? F what? Keep them apart. Coming up, the conclusion. All right, there they are. See you right now. Okay, easy, 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 Jay. Sir, hey, get the camera Sir. On hang, hang on, easy, easy, easy. Why have you been so distant for the last three months? Cause you've never been there from me. You. Don't touch. Giving you everything you've ever wanted. Fuck. Don't touch. Get the away from me. Don't, don't. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> But Melissa, you caused this. Do you see that? Do you not understand? Can we just talk about this? Can we just talk about this? Melissa. Jay, can we guys, can we give you guys a ride in the van? No, I'm Is just gonna it? go home with her. We're gonna try to work this out. Okay. I, Are I, you I, sure? I appreciate all your help. I want to at least talk with her and see. I mean, we've been together eight years. I'm not gonna just <laughs> give up on her for no, I understand her that. slutty friend Courtney. I understand that. But so. Don't talk about her. That okay. doesn't do it. Then. You. <laughs> you. Well, let's, let's settle down. Come so. on. Just please. No. Let's just get no! Him. Don't touch me! Okay, hey, hey, no! hey, 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 Security, stop him! <laughs> just go away! Get away from me! That's why I went to him! That's why I went to him! Because he made me feel special! What, some Latino guy? You, he had more for love! Three months? And it's worse! You're gonna throw this away him. for three months? That you did eight years! You! 
you. Go with your Latin lover. You know what? Go Ooh, with your they classic They make so women. much oh, money. God, they oh. do it. Make it personal. Easy, easy. Ah. That's enough. That's enough. Just walk off, retard. <laughs> Come on, baby. I'm sorry. I didn't mean what I just said. <laughs> Melissa, I understand that you're upset. What is it that's upsetting you right now? I just want to go away. I just... There are things that you need to talk about and some things that each of you may be responsible for. <laughs> but tonight may not be the night for that to happen. I'm sorry, can we just go home? Please. I don't know if she feels comfortable right now. Wait, 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 no, don't pick her up anymore. Are you ready to go home? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Let's... Let's just get, get out of let's get out of this circus. Let's get out of this circus and, and talk about it. I've been lost without you. Come on. After the confrontation, Jay refuses to wallow in self-pity. Stay tuned as Cheaters reveals his perspective plans. But now, please welcome Valerie Noble, a former suspect hoping to put her marriage right after being caught with her husband's cousin on Cheaters. You know, I've kind of felt like at that moment, in that moment, while we were out together, I wasn't a wife, I wasn't a mother. I was kind of more, I had more freedom to go out and have fun and to kind of feel young again. Um, but then again, you know, on my conscience was, what I'm doing is not right. You my cousin? You just get out of jail, mother? Man, man. you just showing me how to play like, golf. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, kill you, dude! Mother I feel like Dell did take advantage of the situation, um, but that still doesn't give me any excuse to do what I did. Um, I can't blame my wrongdoings on others. I'm a grown adult woman. But um, I feel like it was a lot his fault as well. I mean, he pushed it and pushed it, and that being his cousin, that should have never been a thought that entered his mind. No, hell no! Uh, mother you better stop this son of a bitch! Is that what you got? That's what you got? Why are you gonna do this? Look at this. These look familiar to you? Are you thinking about these kids? Get wipe that smile off your face. Run? Why are you gonna do this to me? I need some excitement in my life. All you ever do is go to work and come home and sit on your ass. Since the confrontation, since Brian found out, you know, we've been going to counseling, marriage counseling, to see if we could uh, save our relationship, save our marriage, save our family. We've had a long conversation about it, and, you know, we've decided to set out personal time for us, even if it's 30 minutes to an hour a day, you know, as us as a couple versus just a mom or a dad or at work so we've set aside time for us to spend together and we're more open with our conversations and we're more willing to listen so yeah he has made an improvement despite catching his wife red-handed with another man 
Jay Ridgway holds on to the hope that his marriage can be saved. He says, I love my wife. I know she loves me. And if she's willing to work with me, I think we can make it through this. Part of his conditions, however, is that Melissa can have no further contact with her Latin lover or her best friend, Courtney. He adds, Courtney is toxic, and if I ever see her around Melissa again, I won't be responsible for my actions. Overcome with emotion after the confrontation, Melissa Ridgway admits that she lost her way and is grateful to cheaters for exposing the affair. She now claims to have a renewed devotion to Jay and states that she's willing to do anything to win his trust once again. According to Juan Amador, however, it's just a matter of time before Melissa comes running back to him. He says, I am now a part of her. I freed her from her cage. I know that when she sleeps, she dreams of me. He adds that when